This is Sydney, this is the weather. This is it. Yeah. Yes. And here we are, Sky Blue family. We have your questions to attend to. I've got the main man here, Luciano Narsing. How you doing, brother? I'm good, man, I'm good. Let's get to it. Uh, I'm going to start things off with a question that you had from, uh, is an old teammate of yours, Wayne Rowledge? Yes, yes. He's asking uh, when we're inviting you him over to watch a game. Whenever he wants. He's Whenever a, he wants. He's always welcome. He's a legend. Yeah. We can welcome him, Skyblue family, right? Well, let's start off the back of that then. We've got Jack Jenkins asking, how did you enjoy your time at Swansea in the Premier League? How was that, brother? Yeah, it was very nice. Uh, good club. It's like a family for me. And I still got the friends who I'm uh, talking with. So, uh, yeah, Swansea was a well, very good time. you still got Wayne getting in your ear, so I he's still, never going gonna... to... I still got Wayne. So... Exactly, exactly. How's the competition difference? You know, from I mean, there's someone else asking as well. You've played in England, you've played in Holland, you've played all over. Yeah. But, uh, you know, what really stands out? What's the main sort of key difference in performance? Um, England, they are strong and they just keep 90 minutes, they get run Moving up and down, up time. and down all the time. Case. While we're on the topic of Holland, Jamie Duncan's asking, hashtag yeah. ask Luciano, who would you have in your five-a-side team out of Sim De Jong and Luke De Jong? Who would, who would be, if you had to pick out of the two, one of them? So which, which one? one? Sim De Jong yeah. or Luke De Jong? Which one's getting in your team? I think uh, Luke De Jong. You gotta be nice to both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, fair I enough. Well, was yeah. Sim, was, Sim was one of our boys, yeah, you know? Yeah. I think the, the Cove had a chant about him, but I'm, I'm not gonna, <laughs> we should, we're not saying all that on there. <laughs> Nick Rojas asking, you played in a few local derbies and rivalries. Are you looking forward to playing in the Sydney Derby and the Big Blue? What do you know so far about them fixtures? Obviously, we've got Sydney Derby coming up next weekend. You keen yeah, for that one? Yeah, yeah everybody talking about uh, that one, so uh, I hope I can make some minutes uh, mm -hmm. then. Let, let's hope and uh, I hope to be fit though. Jake underscore Ma is asking, how do you feel after you scored against Man United while you're at PSV? I knew that one would come up because yeah. that, that's a moment yeah, that will live yeah. you forever, right? Yeah, that's a moment I will never forget. It's like uh, I'm scoring the 2-1 and uh, against Manchester, one of the biggest clubs. So, uh, yeah, I can't uh, can, uh, describe how, it, how I feel. Was there a bit, of a bit of a shush to like Dali Blint and all of your other Holland teammates in the... You're, yeah. not fr you're not friends with that 90 minutes, you know what I mean? Yeah. Especially in the Champions League. Yeah, at that time, uh, Louis van Gaal was mm, also yeah. the trainer and uh, he was my coach at the Dutch team. So it, 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 it felt good to score against him. And I thought he, yeah, he also would think like, hey, that's my player. Huh? Mm, but he kept you in mind for that national yeah. team as well. Yeah. There you go. Just exactly. keeping his head. Yeah. Gonna keep in the head. <laughs> Lolly Pip 2 says, who of everyone you've played with has the most interesting pre-match routine or some weird superstitions? And do you have any of your own? Arian Robbins, like already, he play a game before the game started. What, so that's that? why, yeah, he, he just do crazy stuff like this. What do you mean, what, in the sheds or like he's played? Yeah, before yeah, yeah, you yeah, start yeah, yeah, the yeah, big yeah. game, mm -hmm. it's like he already played 60 minutes, sweating off and working so hard. Wow. Uh, people uh, think like, if we do that, we, we couldn't play the game. Yeah, 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 you think but you're exhausted. He, yeah, you will be tired. Bro, I couldn't do six minutes before yeah, a game. Man. I couldn't do six minutes and then the game itself. So much, so much. Uh, yeah, pressure. Uh, one hour he just work before the game, and yeah, it's incredible. That's why he be a legend like this. He mm. works so hard. Well, let's keep rolling off the back of that one. We got four dot Ash asking. Sydney have had many quality Dutch players in the past. I mean, we've already referenced Sim De Jong. Is one of your goals here to become Sydney's greatest Dutch player? That's well, not on my mind, but of course I want to be important and be the best version of myself. Mm -hmm. And if I uh, if I reach my potential, I know I can be uh, yeah. one of the top. Yeah. I mean, you've already got the name tag, Flying Dutchman, so... Yeah, that's what you guys say, but I need to show it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that, I like that. He's determined, Scudley family, <laughs> we like that. Let's take, the, let's take the topic off the Dutch for a second. Let's okay, focus yeah. on the now. You yeah. are here, yeah. you're in Scudley, well, he's in the name. You, you get what I mean, Scudley family. He's right here, he's sitting right next to me. So, what's going to be your initiation song? Do you know, like, you, you, every... You, every yeah. I mean, I had to do one at the grand final. The boys made me stand up on a chair and do Backstreet Boys. Like, that was, uh, yeah. I'm, not even, I'm not even playing and I had to go through that sort of stuff. So what, what have you got in mind for when that harrowing time does come around? I think an easy one, Bob Marley. Yeah, yeah. Baby, don't worry. Singing, don't worry. Yeah, easy. we do some practice. <laughs> About the <a> thing. Because <laughs> every little thing. It's gonna, gonna be alright. All right, all right let's stick to topic. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, off the back of that one, Brandon Cavalera is asking, do you yeah. dance or just sing? <laughs> I think I'm a dancer. Yeah? yeah? What have you got in the locker? Ah, I like like uh, African music, African mm. music. We got a vibe to Bob Marley as well. I mean, we've already ticked that off. That's ticked off the list. We're set with that. I'm going to hop over to Google Translate for two seconds because we've yeah. got JP underscore Janssen's bringing in some mad ones in Dutch that I am not going to bother to translate because it's going to be embarrassing for all of us involved in the Sky Blue family. This one, I think, is a bit homely for you. Peanut butter with sprinkles or peanut butter and jelly, which is better? 
this one. Wow. What was the first one? Peanut, peanut butter. butter. Peanut butter with sprinkles. Yeah. Is that because that sounds a bit mad to me? Yeah. Is sprinkles, that... peanut butter. Okay. And the next one. Maybe he's just like talking on his own. <laughs> All right, and JP. If that's your feeds, enjoy it. Peanut butter with sprinkles or peanut butter and jelly. And then I take the jelly. You I take the jelly. Yeah. <laughs> the sprinkles. That's the first one, the sprinkles. So. Fade it. This is what you what you already also got here, you know? Yeah, peanut butter. Yeah, peanut butter. There we go. And you want this with uh Hagelsmach, yeah, it's a strange combination. <laughs> I never see somebody eat this. This this both or combination. Never see it. <laughs> we gotta try it out. Maybe that's coming in the part two of the QA. We'll get a we'll get that tested out and do yeah. a review of it. Yeah. We'll see how we go. Oh man alive, you guys are killing me with all these Dutch ones. Can you <laughs> what's he saying there? Yes, uh, if I put my body still with, uh, I got one time I, oh, uh, like a uh, I interview and I told like I put uh, baby oil mm. for my body and now right. now they say ah you put uh, baby. But Adama oil does your... that. I mean, if Adama try, I can and do. And that's it. why they ask. Oh, you still do that because was uh, was when I was uh, at PSV. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's one of the game day superstitions. You yeah. get back to that. Just yeah. to yeah. If yeah. I see you in the changing room and you just go like yeah. that, I'll be like, it's time. Yeah. He's got it in on lock. So obviously we've, we've spoken about the Dutch quizzing and we've spoken about uh, some mooky combinations between the two, but what, you do, what I don't think you have had yet, you've only been in Australia a couple of days, yeah. but Endeavour Cycles is asking, have you gone down to Bunnings for a snag yet? No. You don't have a clue what I just said, no. do you? <laughs> Benek, if I go Bunnings for a snack, no. Bunnings, so Bunnings, right. <sighs> let, me, let me sum this up. Welcome to the Englishman teaching the Dutchman Australian culture. It's a mad kind of time to be at Sydney FC. Whenever you get a sausage sizzle, the sausage goes in, but the bread has to be in like a diamond shape, right? You can't have it straight. Okay. You can't have it in the square, okay. you can't so put it, it in the middle. It has to be in the diamonds. Yeah, okay. make sure you remember that, because otherwise Australia will not accept you. Wow. <laughs> I've okay. heard that the hard way. So it's like this, this, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me find. See, that, that Donnie's done it wrong, because he's gone straight in. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, there you go. So he goes in yeah, on the side, yeah, yeah, right? Okay. You got that down okay. pat, you reckon you can handle yeah. that? Sweet, mm -hmm. we're sorted. Keeping on the Aussie culture, at Tom Clark is saying, hashtag ask Luciano, what Aussie animal are you most keen on seeing? Well, how you call it here? The, the, sometimes you see like they, they the fight. The in What's that? the name? Uh, you got bigger muscles yeah. than I do. Yeah, kangaroos. You, oh, kangaroos. Oh, kangaroos yeah, and like, we'll have to have like a zoo day. There's, there's one oh, thing yeah, you can do with the no, family no, as well. Kangaroos for sure. Yeah? Yeah, my number one. The ones with the tail like that? And <laughs> Last one, I'm going to wrap it up with. I'm going to put Anthony Gerbin underscore 04's question in here. What is the best goal you've ever scored and why has it meant so much to you? I think against Bayern Munich. Just as long, I, was, I was praying you didn't say that one at Wembley against England because that no, one was going to no, hurt. That's easy, that's easy. Oh, easy it was, was only, it? Oh, I, I wow. Only have, I only have to put it in. Was not, oh, don't do that, That's not man. my goal. I, I get it. I get it. Give it to oh. me. Yeah, we're winning the World Cup this year. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. Let's see. What was the one you were going to say? Uh, Bayern München, against Bayern München. Mm -hmm. I think it was a great action, uh, a great uh, long run. And I think I, I scored, scored well against one of the best uh, goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was, in, who was in the nets at that time? Was it Manuel? No, yeah. Ooh. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's, uh, that's something you can hold on to yeah. the rest of your career. Yeah, for sure. I scored, against, um, I scored against Cameron Taylor from the Forest High School one time. How does it feel? Nice? Oh, bro, limbs. <laughs> no, I'm still celebrating today. I'm going to get a tattoo about it. It's historic. Love it. All right, and that is where we're going to wrap it up because as much as we were talking about how nice it is for Luciano to be in Australia, it's going to start to rain again. So let's finish it off there. But it has yes. been an absolute Thanks, pleasure bro. answering Thanks. all of the Sky Blue family's questions. Now, if we didn't get back to your questions, we will, of course, still do that. We'll get you in the DMs with Luciano's answer. But the winner of that free ticket deal that was on offer. Two free tickets to our game against Melbourne City this Saturday goes to, what was your favourite question? Uh, from JP. JP? Can you... The Dutch ones? Yeah. The cre yeah, we, we need to give yeah. him some compensation for like, yeah. for, for telling us all his weird food traits. But JP, the tickets are yours. Thanks, we'll yeah. be in touch. Let's leave it there, Scabby family. We will see you very, very soon.